Starting off the video with two big loot beams, one elite clue scroll and one effigy actually on a reaper assignment of 12 Criaras. I actually conveniently enough also got a Aviancy task, so uh, banging out both of those in one go here. And I think this is like 50% penalty with reaper points, I'm only going to get 9 from this task. But uh, I actually have like three effigies in the bank as well, so I might go and take a look at them and maybe I can finish some of them. After completing that task, I got six Helvir, which is going to be pretty interesting. I haven't done Helvir in, of course, a very long time, so let's see how that goes. Actually, already first kill, I got a Sirenic Essence. I think this is used to upgrade the gear. Let's see, yeah, you can make refined Anima Core items, which is tier 85 instead of 80, so yeah, they, they are pretty useful. And that is the Helvir task done, and look at the amount of herbs you get from this, it's actually insane. Also some raw sharks there for the last drop, but 200 lanthanimes in 6 kills is so good herblore experience. Now something I've been doing back and forth a bit now and then on my pendants auras is AFKing an hour of Roarius, and I just got a sun spear that I'm using because of invention to level 10. And I'm going to disassemble that and get a new one. That's why I made two new augmenters so I can make new um, augmented sun spears. The reason why is because I'm collecting the Quintus keys and the Quartus keys, which are the last two signets I need to get my offhand ascension crossbow. And I think I have around five of each key right now. But um, let's uh, go into this uh, assembler here and get 500,000 experience for that and get 86 invention. So now and then when I have a couple of keys like I have now, I'm going to use them up and uh, I'm only going to, as I said, use the Quartus and the Quintus ones, which are the signets I'm missing. So let's see if we can manage to get one that drop rate is a one in 50. The last Quartus key gave me uh, an inert adrenaline crystal. That is the first time I've ever seen that drop, but uh, no signet this time. But uh, I think this is something that you can use to make your adrenaline potion stronger or something like that. Nothing too good. Unless I get a signet here, there is going to be no Quintus signet either on those keys. So I think that was 5 or 6 Quartus ones and 7 Quintus. No uh, signet this time. I am going to be very rusty at this, but I do want to try some necks. I think my next KC is actually just above uh, 15 or something like that, maybe 18. Oh, 13, so around 15 KC. And in that, I actually managed to get two items, the Virtus Gloves and the Virtus Boots. So any mage items, any melee, I think most of the items actually is pretty useful from necks. And it's I think it's around 1 in 20. To get an item so it's not super rare but uh, yeah let's see if we can get any kills done oh my god i have to say that was <laughs> such a bad kill 10 minute kill for some torso seeds i am so rusty at next but at least i didn't die second kill a bit faster just below eight minutes for uh, some stone spirits it takes so much supplies from me to uh, do every single next kill. I pretty much use a full yak of food. I can You can see here I only basically had four left in the yak. And this is the food I have left from a kill that was 6 minutes and 40 seconds roughly. So I'm just going to do a couple of kills and now and then I'm going to be done there with 3. 20 blue charms is very nice. But uh, now I have a total KC of 16. And uh, as I said now and then we will uh, build that higher and hopefully get some nice drops. I was just doing some Twin Furies to get some raw food because I don't actually have to use that much food on this boss I realized, so I definitely brought way too much food here. I really only need to use uh, Blue Blubber Jellyfish, but uh, I randomly got 15k Odomants. I don't know why, uh, I can't buy any of the, of course, experience overpowered items that mains can as I'm an Iron Man. But I can buy the cosmetic things. I guess it's because the event is over and they just gave every Iron Man 15k of these to buy some stuff with. Which is kind of weird in my opinion, but I guess that's how it is. So I think I'm going to be buying the Beach Sand Override. Just uh, going to buy all of them. And I actually looked into how the Twin Furies or the Furies Agent gear looks like. Not a big fan of it to be completely honest with you. It doesn't look that good. Uh, but uh, I still have 13k points. I might as well just buy something with this, I guess. Maybe the Oathbreaker outfit, uh, but I'll keep these for now. By the way, this is how the beach set looks like. It's alright, I guess. Oh my god, no way. On the last kill I was going to do on Twin Furies, I get a crest of Samurai. 
Very, very nice. I, I can actually use that, I'm pretty sure, because that is ranged armor, I think, tier 80 power armor. And all you need is dormant anima core items. I don't think I have dorm... Okay, so I only have the helm and the chest. And the thing is, I can get a helm, because that is a straight upgrade in terms of... I mean, I have a Sirenic, but uh, other than that, I only have an armadillo helmet. And this is going to be way better than that when I don't want to use my Sirenic one. So uh, just do this and I now have a ranged tier 80 power armor helmet. And of course I forgot to say 336 raw sharks from that uh, Twin Furies round. But that is not going to be enough so I'm going to do some more fishing, set up a counter here and let's see how much fishing experience we can get. When I do eventually get to 99 cooking through just doing fishing and cooking what I get, I have over 1.4k sailfish I think in the bank, maybe you saw that in my last clip. So that will be a lot of food I can get also at that point, which I'm going to stack up even more as I'm doing this type of fishing. Had to do a detour after just below 300,000 fishing experience to do a couple of things. I have monthly and weekly things to do because it is a new month and also some daily challenges. I extended the daily summoning and the daily hunter. So let's see the experience we get. 229,000 experience with 28,000 runecrafting, 137,000 summoning and 63,000 hunter. We also, of course, have the Oyster, so let's get our uh, 200k reward, 262k, pretty uh, standard reward, and then I'm going to get actually 95 fishing from doing this, I'm not going to get a farming level, but uh, I'm very close to 95, so that's going to be a thing. There we go, 95 fishing. The Troll Invasion experience book going straight into agility because I feel like that is going to be a skill that's going to be very tedious to 99 so 58,000 extra experience in that for free is very nice. And of course the last thing is tiers of gothic so 189 tiers for how much invention or not invention archaeology 56,000 archaeology experience just shy of 60 archaeology super nice experience. Something I actually didn't know about at all is that you can make skilling potions that didn't exist back in the days when I played. There are cooking potions now and they're pretty easy to make. I can actually make quite a lot of them already. I can make the super ones if I just add the Zygomite fruit that I had in the bank. And the super cooking potion is actually a 5 cooking boost. Now it does degrade over time but that means I can actually get to 99 cooking. Which is very huge because that means I can cook the 2000 almost raw sailfish that I have. Which is of course extremely good food. Also completed a daily cooking challenge for 115,000 experience. But uh, yeah, I did some fishing as you can see. I got a lot of cavefish and rock tails. But now with this knowledge of the super cooking potions, I will be able to cook all these 2000 raw sailfish as well. Now that I have a lot of good food, over 800 sailfish cooked, I'm going to do some more necks. I'm going to do one hour, I'm going to do an extended Reckless Aura. But uh, something that's a bit of a problem is that you actually have to pay 800,000 to be able to do necks for one hour. If I try to banish the ward and just go into here normally, it says I have to use the custom encounter. And back in the days when I played, the uh, actual cost of the... Uh, custom instance wasn't actually counted at all. You just started the thing and nothing was drained from your money pouch, but now that's not the case, so when I start this, it is actually going to drain 800,000 for me, so I will have to get some more money because this was the last money I actually had. First kill in the hour, let's see what we get, and we get some super stores and Sarah Domin Bruce, actually not a very bad drop. Second kill, and by the way, if you're wondering, I do actually not have the full ceremonial set. Magic Seeds, by the way, how many is that? Uh, five, very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm missing the top and the helmet. I'm trying to get them from the minions or from the uh, kill count I get out outside of the room. But uh, no luck just yet, it's got like four boots. Halfway point, third kill is going to be uh, some stone spirits and loop half of a key. I actually started trying to use these Ruby but Criminal Bolts and the kill seems to be a bit faster for uh, some Torstal Seeds. I actually on this kill managed to get the helmet from uh, one of the minions inside of the room but uh, second to last kill is going to be some uh, Green Dragonites. I thought I got Ruby but Criminal Bolts first so I got kind of baited by my own ammo. And for the last kill we are going to get some uh, Pernix Boots, ranged boots. Wait that's actually just a straight up upgrade. 
I got an item that's super good as the last drop. I had Armadillo boots only, tier 70. Now I have tier 80 ranged boots. Very, very nice. Getting some more invention experience. Actually very close to be able to siphoning my legs. AFKing some more ascension creatures. But I got a level 10 sun spear. So let's get, how much is that? 600,000? 523,000. Let's disassemble that. And that is now 87 invention. 1 million experience, almost 88. I haven't had any straight up big goals I'm going for, but that is going to be something that is changing right now. I'm going to go for the extreme invention potion, which requires exactly 95 to make. And I have that right here, the extreme invention potion. And for that, you need to do quite a couple of things. It boosts your invention, by the way, to 17 higher for five minutes. And that is going to allow me to actually make the alchemical onyx to make the lock of the dwarves ring and all of those good things Which I will be able to do because I have so many fortunate components in the bank So what the steps are is first get aggression potions Which is why I am uh, doing the bloodweed seed planting right now to make the potions Then I'm going to sit at spiders and farm spider egg to put into the farm Which is one of the items that you need for one of the invention potions then after that, I'm going to be hunting skilled chompas that has a 1 in 5,000 drop rate of getting the thing I need to put into the farm to get more regents that I need for the potion. I also then have to farm some mochella mushroom spores and plant to get a gloom shroom zygomite male. Because I already have a female and then I need them to breed and then the one that I get from them breeding is going to give me the regent I need to make the extreme invention potion. So I have quite a big goal to go for but hopefully it won't be a mega long grind. So meanwhile my blood weeds are growing I'm going to be catching some chinchompas hoping to get that unchecked chinchompa for my farm and it is a 1 in 1500 drop rate from every single box trap that you open that has chinchompas in them not per chinchompa that you get because you can get like 5 per uh, box that you actually caught so let's see here 164 to 166 only got 2 there but uh, that doesn't matter, it's just 1 in 1,500 traps that you open. My herbs were done pretty fast, so I actually only got 2 aggression potions from that, because I wasn't using any compost or anything. But I got 27,000 hunter experience, but this is how I'm going to do it, by the way, the egg farm. Just bring uh, these aggression potions, I drink them, and then I just have this familiar on auto use, and it kills like everything in the area very overpowered and I can just put my auto retaliate on pretty much afk my minion kills everything and I cleave all the small spiders and they have a small drop rate of the egg another herb run done for some more aggression potions and I got seven this time very nice I'm not really using any boosts or any compost so seven is pretty good I'm tracking a uh, well I have a prayer tracker here of how many spiders I've killed you get four experience per once I've killed 1100 spiders so far but no egg. There it is, the egg on the ground. That is the only spider egg I need for the spiders. I don't need two types for them to breed, I just need one. And that took me 23,000 prayer experience, which is actually just a bit more than 5,000 spider kills. It was pretty fast though, it's like 3,000 kills an hour with uh, this setup, so it's not too bad. So with the spiderling put into the farm, I now went here to farm some Moshella mushroom spores to get the second last thing that I need before the chinchompa, which is I have to get a gloom shroom zygomite that is, I think, a male. I think I have a female already, and this is the only one that I need to actually breed to get the new type of zygomite that will then give me the last ingredient I need. An easy way to get some super compost for these seeds is going to be pickpocketing these workers. Already got 6 and just started, probably going to go for around 10. So I put in the spider before I went to bed and I gave it a lot of food, so it is almost at 100% on the happiness and it has 100% health. I think that if I gather produce here, I should actually get what I need from the spider and I don't think I need to, uh, to breed it or anything like that, so let's just do yes. And there we go, that's the spider fangs that I need for the potion. So uh, I'm technically done with the first part. Already on the first run I got a Zygomite, it's actually not super rare from these, so uh, I, you can get them pretty frequently. But it is a male I need, so let's see if this is going to be one. Let's just check that real quick, and it is a male, perfect. Now I just have to grow it to an adult, and then get the uh, last thing, which is the Chinchomba, which is the harder one, one in 1.5k. And then I'm technically done. 
So really all I have to do now is wait around 30 hours for it to become an adult and then I have to wait another 8 hours for it to have a 70% chance to breed with a female and uh, that is quite a long time so I'm going to use that time to hopefully be able to get the chinchompa which is the last thing I need so I will be doing some box traps. I'm at 1.3k chinchompas right now and I guess these are going to be pretty useful for skilling in the future. Okay, well, uh, that did not take long at all. I, <laughs> I'm at 1,426. So basically, right after recording that clip, we have the chinchompa and it is a male. Not that it matters. Meanwhile, waiting for all the things at the farm to finish, which is going to take, as I said, quite a long time. I'm going to be AFKing Roarius basically as much as I can, because I do need to get to 90 invention to be able to boost for the alchemical onyx to make the items I want to make. So that is three invention levels. It's not too bad. Invention is a pretty fast skill. And I already have a level 10 ascension crossbow here, so I will soon be able to siphon that. Uh, so I don't think 90 is going to be that much of a problem. My chinchompa is done, so let's just uh, gather produce and get what I need from that and get some 2800 farming experience as well. This residue is what I wanted from these creatures. It is taking a very long time for my Zygomites to actually first off breed and then also give me the Zygomites I need and for them to grow up. So I don't want to waste too much time and postpone this video forever. So I'm just going to end the video here. But before that, I want to say that I got to 88 invention. Not sure if I was that already in the last clip, but I'm leveling my augmented chaotic staff. I'm going to disassemble that. I don't really need it anymore with a noxious staff. Also, I have the th three super invention potions made already. So I just need the Psygomite things put in here and I get the extreme invention potions. And I also collected a lot of invention charge, so I have like 6 hours more of charge already. And um, I have 16 Quintus Keys and 15 Quartus Keys. I did 1.8 million ranged experience on the Ruari. So yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, so just going to end the video here. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more of my content, subscribe to the channel and you will be notified when if you press the bell. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one, guys. Take care.